Hey guys, Coach Travis here with this week's programming, and we are going to jump right into it. For those that are competing this weekend at Duality, want to wish you the guys the best of luck. We'll be there supporting you. Cannot wait to see how well you do. For programming for this week, getting into day one, we've got two rounds of kip swings, working on those rig movements that we've been working on, and a progression of the work that we've already been doing. Again, sticking with our EMOM, we've got eight reps again this week, except now we're shifting up to five reps of the hard or new movement that we're working on achieving and then following that immediately with three reps of your current ability. Again, an example would be if you're working on toes to bar, we would hit five of those toes to bar or toes to bar attempts, followed then by three reps of our straight leg raise. Again, working on trying to shave off the things that we're trying to get past and increase the things that we're trying to achieve. Getting into day two, we've got five rounds for time of 12 GHD sit-ups and then immediately into a 100 foot sled push with two or three plates on there depending on your strength. Now with this, we're gonna do 50 foot out and 50 foot back. This workout is designed to be done um, uh, for time. So we want to set up, make sure that we're ready to do this so we can transition back and forth uh, as quickly as we can. Again, five rounds, 12 GHD sit-ups into a 100 foot sled, pu sled push. If that's 50 feet down, turn the sled around quickly, 50 feet back. Getting into day three, we've got four rounds of a 25 foot barbell front rack walking lunge. And that sounds like a mouthful, but essentially you want to look at four mat lengths with the turnaround. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, four mat lengths of the, the long of the mat should be 24 feet if you start just slightly behind the line and then slightly in, uh, on the other side of the line. That should be close enough. But the goal here is to immediately drop the bar and then go into five bar facing burpees over the bar. So we want to practice that transition of doing our work for that long period of time, not needing to immediately drop the bar and rest, but we want to be able to drop the bar, stay mentally in, in the workout, quickly hit five bar facing burpees, and then we're going to rest 90 seconds after each one of those for a total of four rounds. And then lastly, getting into our final day, I know you guys have seen it. Hopefully you've been doing it. I've seen a lot of athletes working on this. Trust me, it pays off if you just do it. We've got four sets of our 20 banded pull-ups and chin-ups, two sets working that overhand pronated grip, two sets working that underhand supinated chin-up grip. Again, trying to build volume for the arms, volume for the lats to get these areas of the body conditioned to doing high volume sets, things that will help you not only in competition, but also help you in the gym. That goes. That's our breakdown for this week. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Again, really excited about this coming weekend at Duality to see all you guys' hard work finally pay off. And uh, we'll see you out on the floor.